New York City's Small Business Services, or SBS, recently announced the five winners out of 40 submissions of its Neighborhood Challenge Innovation Grant. The competition asked local business improvement districts to team up with tech firms and propose ways they could work together to bring energy and vitality to the streets, sidewalks, and shops in their commercial districts. Well, two of those winners, and the prize was, by the way, $100,000, by the <laughs> by, are right here in our studio, and they're right here from Brooklyn. Joining us now to tell us how they won and what they're going to do with all that cash is Meredith Phillips Almeida, the executive director of the Myrtle Avenue Brooklyn Partnership. Welcome back to BK Live. Thank Happy you to very see much. You. And working as a team now, two brains are better than one, we have Alexandra Sika, the executive director of the Dumbo Improvement District. Good to see you at the table Good to again. See you. And a first timer here, $50,000 richer for his work. <laughs> Andrew Kalish, the director of cultural development for the Downtown Brooklyn Partnership. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So let's just hop right in. Uh, talk about what were the qualification requirements for um, to win the $100,000. We can start with you. So I think that the challenge was open to any community-based organization or business improvement district across the five boroughs. Yeah. Um, we were asked to partner with a tech firm, and SBS actually created an event where we could network and meet um, tech dating. firms, like mm. speed yeah. dating, yeah. Um, which was really helpful because, yeah. to be honest, we're not in that space, so right. I didn't, didn't know very many tech firms before, before this project. I think that might have been the only... Yeah, the other, the other issue is that this is sort of seen as a test case, right? Because like Meredith said, a lot of these bids, business improvement districts, economic development corporations don't have a lot of experience in this, right. this world. Right. And this can be digital tech can be a very expensive endeavor. Sure. Um, and so the idea being, could we test something out on our neighborhood levels that then could be scaled across the entire city? Yeah. Right. So we're the guinea pigs for some of this technology. And if it works, then the city can either take that and roll it out across other bids or even across the entire city. And I, I think the tech partners were really excited to be able to ground truth their sure. theory of yep. change. Yeah, I mean, I sure. think a lot of them sort of been, have ideas and they've right. been developing and many of them are in beta and they were excited yeah. to have groups like ours on the community level Real where we world. could actually right. te test out what they're, what they're believing to be true. So Alexandria, how did these wonder twins unite? Like ah. what made you get together? <laughs> downtown Brooklyn folks. So downtown and Brooklyn are so far apart. So no, far. They, <laughs> so far. We work all the time with our lovely neighbors up the hill, Downtown That's Brooklyn right. Partnership. Yeah. Um, you know, so much so that we really think of ourselves and um, Myrtle Avenue is right on, um, yeah, on this too, neighbors. is this, you know, right. Brooklyn right. Tech Triangle, right? Yeah, you're on um, the grid. Where we all have like a hotbed of um, tech companies and we have 500, 600 yeah. tech companies in Dumbo. Downtown Brooklyn has tons. Uh, and so it's a, it's, it was a natural for us to think about what kind of solution could be um, yep. deployed uh, and make our case for a for this grant money um, stronger. And we've also yeah. seen, you know, we, we launched uh, something, God, what was it, like six or seven years ago now, called the Brooklyn Tech Triangle, which is really basically Dumbo, downtown Brooklyn, and the Navy Yard is a triangle of this sort of innovation sector. Yeah. And you know, while we there's a lot of things we can do together already, it has always been a little difficult navigating the area. You know, you have BQEs cutting BQE and overpasses cutting everything through. You have wide avenues. So it's always been a little difficult to get around the area. So when we found this solution, we thought it was perfect to better kind of fulfill this promise of the tech triangle. Right. So speaking of solutions, Meredith, you guys are trying your hand at innovation. What are you going to do with the grant? So we are very excited to partner with Benefit Kitchen. Mm -hmm. They've developed an app that screens low-income families to reveal up to $18,000 in benefits they might be eligible for. So these can be federal, city, state benefits. Money like left SNAP, on the table. Money right. left on the table. I learned from them that $80 billion in wow. benefits are left in, on the table wow. every year across the country. So they really feel like this is a way to get some more money into families' pockets to help them stretch their budgets. Um, what's really cool about our partnership is we're able to incorporate Myrtle Avenue specific benefits. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a family on Myrtle and I take the screening, I might find out that I'm eligible for SNAP benefits. If I have a child under 10 in my household, I'll also learn that I can get a free bike 
for, uh, for my son or daughter at a bike shop on Myrtle that refurbishes bikes for kids it's and offers win -win. them to families. Yeah. Right. Keep it local, right. shopping local, exactly. and getting the benefits. So it's a great way to connect people to uh, businesses on the avenue who do have these kinds of benefits right. and want to reach families and, and let them know that they're offering these things. Nice. And are the family's going to be told that they can download the app, and or how is that going to work? So this is actually not an app you need to download. It's a sort of a, a website, a link that you click. But Benefit Kitchen will be customizing that web link for us. Um, it's live now, but we'll, we're still so we're going to use the money to develop the Myrtle Avenue specific uh, version of Benefit Kitchen and adding um, the benefits that are specific to Myrtle Avenue. Awesome. Uh, you don't have to download. You can click the link. We'll have palm cards That's where there. you can take the information home. But we're also going to bring. Uh, Benefit Kitchen to the events where we already are at in the community. We right. run a food pantry once per month where we serve 400 households, giving away 15,000 pounds of fresh produce. We're meeting people where they are. We're going to share the information there about Benefit Kitchen and how they can connect to these cool. benefits. So who was your love connection from this? <laughs> so so the company partner. we partnered with is called AppSpots. And it's it's a really unique technology. It's something that we had we, in our ever never-ending never quest of improve wayfinding in our neighborhoods, right? So you come off the Brooklyn Bridge and right. you sort of don't know where you are. Um, even in Alexander's done so much to try and make that experience better. Um, but it, we both have Wi-Fi networks, free public Wi-Fi networks that reach hundreds of thousands of people each month. And so what AppSpots does is that, you know, when you log on to Wi-Fi, you get that terms and conditions page is really annoying. Oh, so Instead of that, you're presented with a completely interactive web application. So it's as if you downloaded the Google Maps, yeah, but yeah. you didn't download anything, and you're on the free Wi-Fi network. So it not only tells you where what's around you, so mm -hmm. businesses, events, points of interest, but it also provides you with turn-by-turn -turn directions. Mm -hmm. So you can actually navigate through some of these more difficult connections, specifically between our two neighborhoods. Yeah. So, and but what's also really unique is that there is a break in our Wi-Fi coverage. But so if you go on the Wi-Fi network in Dumbo with this, and you come, you walk to downtown Brooklyn. It stays on the Wi-Fi oh, network now, so you don't have to re-sign on. Wi it's great, <laughs> and it's it's We're so easy to turn future, on. Right? Yep, we are, and it's you know it's completely customizable. So, and there's all these different other aspects that we can build on in the future. We're already talking about doing hackathons with some of the local schools mm -hmm. to enable the technology. How can we give this to local businesses yeah. to improve what they're already doing? Mm -hmm. It's really the possibilities are endless, and it's it's very exciting to get started. So, Alexandria, yes. when is the rubber meeting the road moment? When do we get <laughs> right. to do these? Things? Yes, I think you know coming soon to your iPhone when you land in Dumbo <laughs> or downtown Brooklyn. Uh, from October, November, um, our great hope is that this all gets installed very quickly before the holiday season uh, so that people, you know, know, when, you know, Dumbo is flooded with people. We have no problem getting tourists to the neighborhood, right? But we do have problems directing people to our independent um, shops and restaurants. Uh, and so this will be a tool to say, great, Look, there's this, you know, awesome printmaker down the road. Go five blocks this way, and you can get your perfect gift. Right. And you guys were given one year to use the money, mm -hmm. right? Yep. That's right. So Meredith, uh, talk a little bit about your process and just getting the ball rolling. Yeah. Sure. So we hope to start getting the word out shortly, probably in August, cool. about the app. Um, like I said, sharing the information at the community events where we're already at. One thing I didn't mention is. This, we're going to utilize volunteers to help get the word out. We are going to bring iPads and actually be able to do the screenings at events like the Show pantry. People. Right, you can Real do this time. right here. And we are, have a great partnership with Afropunk oh, and nice. through, with their Afropunk Army, which yeah. is their core of volunteers. So they'll be involved, they'll be trained to screen, and we'll come to our events. We're really excited about that. I think we're going to need a little bit of time to build the technology. Mm. But like I said, the Benefit Kitchen is live now online, and you can already get screened. We're just adding the Myrtle Avenue benefit soon, so we'll start getting the word out in August. So this is all very exciting stuff, but mm -hmm. I wonder, like someone says to you, oh, we're giving out $100,000, right. and it's almost like winning mm -hmm. the lottery. I wonder <laughs> what was the like second place idea that you guys would go with? Like if we got another 100 k under the table, like, yeah. what else would you like to so, do? So, um, a couple of years ago, we actually did a mini version of this in Dumbo, where um, we took 
$25,000 and we handed $5,000 grants out to Dumbo-based tech startups to do cool. something with their technology in yeah. the neighborhood. Um, one company retrofitted our um, plaza umbrellas with solar chargers oh. for your cell phone, which now is something that's all over the place, but five years ago was Innovation. not. Innovation. Totally. Yeah. One, company, <laughs> one company took um, their fire pit um, technology and we made a fire pit that powered our Christmas tree lights. Um, so fun stuff. Um, not as earth, or earth changing as uh, our technology. But the, the solar panel um, umbrella company that we worked with, uh, this company Pensa, our second place idea, which we were very excited about, was going to be um, taking, doing the sandwich board of the next generation. Mm -hmm. So doing like, if you think about a Kindle and those kind of, um, that kind of uh, paper white right. um, yeah. e-ink, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, doing something that could be interactive to attract people to storefronts. Very so cool. who knows? Maybe that will take off. Never know. We'll see. Um, so when you were when you guys were creating the proposals, right? Did I know it's very different. The neighborhoods are different, um, right? Different different stories. Um, how what how difficult was it for you guys to sort of sell your idea being mm -hmm. like if you're in a pool of people who are putting in applications for people to re receive benefits i'm sure it's very different versus saying hey we just want to sort of guide our tourists mm -hmm. versus hey we want to give our local residents benefits in mm -hmm. our neighborhood so um talk a, li a little bit about that sure. process so what we saw is that you know we in downtown brooklyn dumbo there's a there's just a thriving small medium large business community right these are the retail core Corridors of this area of Brooklyn. But, you know, as more and more people come here, they find they're still having difficult finding their way around, whether it's tourists. You know, there's 2,000 new hotel rooms in this immediate area. Yeah. Ten, about six years ago, there was zero. Right. So, you know, it's you do have this influx of not only people that are visiting, but new residents coming here, but also established residents that might not know about all the new things that are happening here. So the idea is we saw this not only for tourists, but also for the people who live, work, visit, go to school. For this, you know, there's there's 66,000 college students in college downtown Brooklyn, Dumbo, yeah. right? It's a college town. So if we can connect into all those people and provide one platform that allows them to really reconnect with their neighborhood, we see that as a huge win. And I think what's also really unique is that our Wi-Fi networks don't just cover downtown Brooklyn and Dumbo, but they also cover most of Fort Greene Park and the Ingersoll and Whitman houses. So these are folks that are outside of our immediate communities that will have access to this, and folks who might not necessarily be coming over just because of their day to day. Well, I'll know know what's right over the right over the you know right over Flatbush Avenue. So can I cancel my Wi-Fi? <laughs> <laughs> We're not giving you free Wi-Fi. <laughs> not in your apartment, but uh, yeah. Well, I tried. Yeah, so, exactly. Meredith, on the other end, though, I want to hear from you about using technology to address these social concerns and income inequality and really putting technology into that space, how you guys think that's going to work. It's really exciting for us because we've never tried this before and yeah. never partnered with a tech partner. But our challenge has always been on Myrtle Avenue as it changes to help people remain connected to the avenue, right. to make sure that it's welcoming to everyone, regardless of sort of how quickly it changes or how, how much it stays the same. And so on the business side, mm -hmm. we've focused on maintaining a diverse retail mix to make sure that everyone can find somewhere to shop. But most people don't know that we've also been involved in community programs for about 10 years. We have food access programs, we have a youth employment program in the summer, and we work with seniors. And we've learned a lot from those relationships about what people want to see from Myrtle Avenue and what their challenges and struggles are. So I, I do feel like connecting to these benefits really sort of adding dispensable income really yeah. is what it is, right? If you're adding this, these benefits to your, your budget, yeah. will open up more possibilities to in, participate in sort of you know commercial life on the avenue, to explore yeah. your neighborhoods, and to really feel that connection. I think, you know, what's, I, I mentioned again, the Myrtle Avenue specific benefits are really important to me because it shows that there are businesses, though they might be new, and maybe you walk by them and felt like, I don't know what that is right. and that's not for me, mm -hmm. um, I can get a free bike for my for child my here. Right. And that's a great effort by that local business to right. remain connected to community and to be a good neighbor. And those are the kinds of things we want to highlight through technology. Technology is making that possible. That's right. awesome. It's like, the mo again, like a model wow. that yeah. it's innovation right. and then we right. can scale it. That's right. A, exactly. Not mad at that at right. all. So yeah. in our last uh, 60 seconds, how can we hear more about this uh, project? Where can we find you guys? 
MyrtleAvenue.org for us, BenefitKitchen.com, and stay tuned for a Myrtle Avenue specific uh, URL for Benefit Kitchen. But okay. right now, you can find information there. Great. Follow us on social media at Myrtle Avenue at Myrtle Ave BKLYN, um, and we'll be rolling out in August. Great. Final comments yeah. from you guys. The, so the. Dumbo uh, and downtown Brooklyn, just whip out your phone when you get into the neighborhood <laughs> anytime next year. Yeah. Uh, and it should be bombarding uh, you with great information about mm -hmm. both of our neighborhoods. Great. Yeah. Thank Never you be lost again. Never right? be lost again. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Well, thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much. much. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.